And we're out in the field in Rooks County and have caught up with Stephen Biggie, who is the chairman of the Kansas Grain Sorghum uh, Commission. Uh, Stephen, uh, we're here in November and, you know, we've had one little cold snap which kind of allowed a uh, sorghum harvest to start. So how has harvest been going on your farm and uh, around the state that you've heard? Um, on our operation, things are going really smooth. Uh, we had a shutdown there last week with the weather, um, got a little wet and drove the moisture up and we had to stop. And um, if everything holds together, we got another day or two and we'll be wrapped up. And, and I think that's for the most part, um, a lot of the sorghum will be wrapped up by the end of the week, what it sounds like. And um, yields have been good and um, guys have been happy with how the crops have been. It looks as though everybody's anticipated and, and overall, you know, yields have come in good because once once that freeze came, uh, the milo was ready. Yeah, it. Um, we've had some lodging issues. Um, we had some varieties that uh, some of the better, higher yielders that uh, with that early freeze um, wanted to go down, but we've been able to get majority of it picked up. And the grain quality has been tremendous. I'm hearing a lot of um, 12, 5 to 13, 5 and in the 60 pound test weight range and stuff. So quality is going to be good. Let's just talk about now. We're going to talk about the remaining time. So we'll get into it in this first segment in a little bit. Just a few weeks ago, you all met to kind of put your plan of action into the coming year. And uh, one of the probably uh, uh, stalwarts of that is uh, investing in research. Yeah, we had our um, annual funding meeting there the first week in September and um, allocated funds for next fiscal year and, um, and different research priorities from um, yield to chemical, um, different chemical traits that we're trying to get out that um, will benefit the producers and, uh, and continuing to spend money in promotion to, uh, in regards to ethanol and, and promoting sorghum as a versatile um, feed grains throughout for several different industries. Uh, the ethanol industry being one that uh, the association side has been very heavily involved in uh, with what's going on with the EPA, but the, what you're doing is just making that investment and to show ethanol producers here in Kansas that sorghum is uh, one of those that maybe should be in their in their mix of uh, blends. Yes, we, we're spending um, effort trying to convince producers that um, even though sorghum typically sells at a discount to corn that the yield advantages that we can see in certain parts of the state will overcome that discount um, and provide producers value. Um, and that's that's one of the reasons I grow it is it's a consistent performer and um, year in and year out it's my most profitable crop. Stephen Biggie is the uh, chairman of the Kansas Grain Sorghum Commission. We're on his farm outside of Stockton in Rooks County. We'll be back in just a moment. <laughs> 